What's up, y'all? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. We're going to be talking all things SummerSlam and all the drama, everything going on. Coming up next on WWT Live, keep it locked. Howdy, folks. This is Willow Nightingale, and you are watching Women's Wrestling Talk. I would love to wrestle with somebody. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling network on the planet. What up, y'all? TK Trinidad here for WWT Live. We got, it's, it's going to be an interesting show. We got a full house um, today. We're going to be talking about SummerSlam because SummerSlam was quite interesting. Some unexpected things I didn't expect, but apparently uh, this gentleman knew it was going to happen. Uh, the professor himself is in the building. Oh, let's play that video. Let's run it back. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. What Go up, forward. professor? You know, I, I, I actually did not miss that video at all. Wow. <laughs> I didn't miss that one at all. But welcome back, TK. And uh, a big happy birthday to you. It was your birthday you. over the weekend, so we've got to celebrate the boss lady. Did you enjoy your birthday? I did, and it's my birth season, and birth I've decided, season. I've officially decided, because it usually ends um, around now, but I've officially decided that I'm going to extend it until the end of the month. So You know what? Celebrate as long as you would like. I mean, yeah. there's so much going on in the world right now. We celebrate life for as long as you want. Every day is your birthday. How about that? There you go. And also, too, <laughs> I'm just so tickled with this video. So, y'all, and I usually don't do this, but y'all go to my social media. <laughs> I just posted this, this birthday video. It's not even about the video. It's the song. It's the song that just, I, I encourage y'all who love birthdays as much as I love birthdays to take that audio and put it with your birthday because it's everything. Savage. I'm just, just, just Savage. Just um, so uh, also he is back. He's been all over the world and 50 places. Uh, Jason, what's good? Hey guys, happy birthday, TK. I too am a birthday person. Um, I'm a big believer that every birthday should be as big as possible because not to bring down the crowd, you never know if you're going to have another one. That's so right. do, big, do it like the boss, like TK. Happy birthday. There it Absolutely. is. And, you know, it wouldn't be an official, I guess we're kind of making it into a slight birthday episode and comeback episode because it has been a couple of weeks. Uh, it wouldn't be official unless we had an official council member in there. The councilman, Pharaoh's in the building. How are you doing? <laughs> Acknowledge your tribal chief. <laughs> oh, wait. Acknowledge that, that's your tribal chief. And I'm going to be the one to break, you know, to give the very bad news. Don't nobody care about y'all birthdays. The tribal chief oh, is hater. back. Hater. All is wow. right with the what the Oh boy, the here we go. It's back. Yeah. Well, happy birthday though. Uh, okay. Sounds like man. the fair. I, I, it sounds like the councilman gets socks and underwear every every year for his birthday. That's why he's being pissy and a hater. Damn. You know what? I also be forgetting my birthday. It's not to my <laughs> mom. <laughs> yes, I'd be like, oh yeah, it is my birthday. Wow. How do you forget what? your birthday? Man, I'd be busy. I'd be busy. I don't, I don't, I don't be remember. So that's that lets me not remember no one else's birthday. Because after you uh, say that, you're one of those people. Yeah, I just be busy. I'm, but I'm celebrating it now. I'm celebrating it now. I'm not at a season yet like you, but I'm starting to celebrate, especially now that our tribal chief is back. Uh, he wouldn't want me to not celebrate my birthday now that he is back. <sighs> Okay, so, so, so. <laughs> you see, TK, you have no idea the foolishness I've been dealing I with. Have no, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. It's it's been fun. It's been very so fun. Trust me. We are a great chaotic ride here. When, oh yes, we are. Yeah, and I can't wait for the other half, my oh, tag yeah. team partner, to come in. Yeah. Oh, because oh, 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 you know we all the day. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, shout out to Bosa. Councilman is filled with the Holy Spirit still 40 hours later. If honey were here, it would just be as bad. It's, oh, okay. Well, um, well right, funny then. you should say that. And you should say that. Uh, she mm-hmm. she is making her way. Uh, shout out to Isaac, uh, Cousin Ron, Anthony, All Star Fandom, Matt. Uh, everybody's in the building. Um, but while we're waiting for, for Honey to get situated, uh, special little nobodies, let's hit this first story. I'm really... Um, well, see, she, she might be situated. It might just be Ooh. waiting to turn the camera on. But that's another oh, story. That's, this that's is what I know point. about yes. Honey. I know she's been doing surprises. So we'll wait till she turns the camera on. Or maybe, wait, should I put on the camera and then she's turning it on? Yeah, she, yeah, she yeah, yeah, the, the, on. It's a yeah. thing. It's a thing. Yeah. Oh, Trust me. Say it's her a name and she appears. That's, that's how it goes. Oh, okay. That's how well, it goes. in that case, we'll 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 put honey on the on the on the camera. <laughs> I, I'm just preparing myself to to, to pop on. Myself. Um. So yeah. WWT Universe. What did I tell you? <laughs> I know her. Acknowledge oh, me. Oh, <laughs> I know my Egg- people. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge your tribal chief, the OTC, Honey Reigns, is in the building. Acknowledge me. I I acknowledge my tag team partner. TK, I I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you, Professor. (laughs) I tried to tell all of you. Solo Sokoa is not my tribal chief. He is not the tribal chief. I am the tribal chief. Roman Reigns has returned. He is the tribal chief, and we will acknowledge him and not this Timu bloodline. He is back to restore order. We will acknowledge our tribal Why about, You know the whole arm done, too? Mm-hmm. Had, listen, I just got this brand new ink. Yeah. This, is, this is within, like, 10 minutes. You That's know? awesome. That's great. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Uh, this is great. But I, love it. I told you, let's go, guys. I let's love it. go. I love What's it. What's up, y'all? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I guess I missed a lot. Okay. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, well, before we hit into this SummerSlam, um, break down the SummerSlam because we didn't have a post show. So I figured we can kind of talk about it clearly. Because a lot of stiff stuff happened. Um, let's, I mean, talk about the tribal chief and all the things that he has done um, just this past weekend. So, who wants to talk about it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, I, w- I was actually there and I didn't know what was going to happen. I really felt like if Solo won, Roman was going to return. If Cody won, The Rock was going to show up. So, uh, the timing that he made his appearance was perfect. They were, both guys were down. There was no going to be any interruption. The music, it was a, it was a newer version of his theme song because on the screens in the stadium, all you saw was head of the table. And there was like a, there was like a little bit of Jason. Slow it down for me. Give me the beat. I'm fighting these urges, brother. So, so, uh, yeah, it was just a new version of the theme song place. I mean, you heard the pop, it went nuts. And at that point for me, like, after the Bailey Nia match, which was great, for it kind of was going like, on a downward slope from there. Like I'm gonna just, fight all these urges, my brother. It it just felt like the crowd was not into it as much. So you know, Roman coming back, I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, and I'm so glad he's back. Now, of course, we don't know what his deal is. Is he cool with Cody? Is he not cool with Cody? We know he punched out Solo for for being a fake, but uh, the graphic you had up, TK, that title belt that went up on WWE Shop. I'm not going to lie. I almost pulled the trigger, but I'm kind of looking at a PS5 as well. So, like, <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And I, so, I haven't done anything yet, but I keep looking at that belt. I don't love the new shirt. I don't. But, well, you know, that, it is what it is there. But him coming back, perfection. Well, let me just say this. Uh, your deci- decision to hesitate on the belt, uh, there may not be another opportunity because the belt sold out in one hour. Oh, come on. Sold out. There Damn were it. exactly 
1,316 of them made, and they were designed for every day of his title reign. They each cost $600, and they were gone within an hour. It is believed that Roman Reigns generated, count the money, $800,000 of revenue within two hours of his return to WWE. And the dirt so, he bought four of them. Well, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm sorry. I wish you had gotten it. Uh, to the too. 1,316 people that did, <sighs> we acknowledge TK, you. Can you, can, you get, can you get us a belt? <laughs> I mean, I can, I can call around. I mean, I'm sure everything is. He's got the connect, I'm sure. I know. That's all. I know. I know you know that know someone that knows somebody else that's down the street that know how to get this belt. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you what, it's not going to be six hundred anymore. It's probably the the because I'm sure there are people who bought two or three because it's that it wasn't that many, and now the the resale value is going to be crazy. So there's no price I won't pay for my tribal chief. Okay. Pass eight hundred. Pass pass. 800. <laughs> <laughs> you're not about to start questioning my tribal chief. <laughs> uh, Jason, I got a question though. Was there yes, anything else after the cameras went off? Like anything they didn't show no. that made the importance? No. Um, <laughs> the thing that made us laugh the most was as people were leaving the stadium, because we're, I'm one of those guys, I don't try to get up in the crowd. I just sit and wait and wait and wait. They played Kingdom seven times in a row while they were waiting for people to clear out. Maybe that was their, you know, like two or three times. It's cool. But like after like the, the fifth or sixth, maybe people they're going to start trying to get people out that way. But uh, nothing really after the camera. You know, Cody did what Cody did. He comes out, he, you know, walks around, you know, takes pictures, shakes hands, autographs, stuff like that. But nothing uh, storyline related for after the camera. Gotcha. All right. Well, with that being said, let's uh, dive into SummerSlam then. Are, are there any matches that you want to lead with? <laughs> well, we probably should start from the beginning. The it's women's a, world title match. You might as Rhea well. Rhea Ripley taking Woo! on Liv Morgan. Now, TK, before uh, we went on the air... Uh, you had some thoughts, and I, I would like for you to share them as you share them with me and see. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. yes, for, for you, those who, uh, yes, and also happy birthday to, to Nikita Lyons. Yes, it is, ha it is Nikita's Eric, birthday. Eric, Eric, Queen Eric, of Eric. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, so I've been, I've been just running and gunning this summer, has been absolutely crazy so i haven't i've been catching up on wrestling but i have i've been multitasking so i i guess i missed the social cues because i was shocked because i'm like i feel like one of my sub favorite movies it's not like my favorite movies but i always reference this the usual suspects where it's like i feel like they should do a video of all the times Liv and dom were talking in the background and you know they were doing things in the background to like to lead up to this to this you know, deception, this deceit uh, that happened. But Professor's telling me he saw all the cues and he wasn't surprised at all. So I guess I missed it while I was, you know, in front of my five screens doing the, be the, the beauty of multi multitasking and 7,000 businesses and the like. But I think um, th to me, this is what was cool about this. I think a lot of us saw this turn with Dom coming. We saw yeah. it coming from a mile away. Mm -hmm. Yet, when he did it, it still made my jaw drop like I wasn't expecting it. That, to me, is the sign that these people are truly doing the Lord's work. It is amazing what they have been able to do with this story and uh, of course, Liv Morgan retains the championship. I believe on our prediction show, we all kind of uh, went down that route of yeah. Liv predicting or Liv winning. But it's this idea of the way Dom did it. And I mean, it was almost to the point where you weren't sure if Dom was going to do it by the end because he right. was so, you know, noncommittal uh, in the way that he did that. But 
Yeah, Dom, Dom, Dom. Not to be confused with Florida Evans. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, nice, nice one, nice one, Professor. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, all I know is now Dominic need to drop a mixtape with Metro Boomin before <laughs> Bad Blood comes out because this man is a menace. This is just, just when you thought the kid couldn't have enough heat, yeah. they just pour mm. gasoline all over the whole damn. Like I was mm. like, like, like Professor said, it was still a shock, even though it was kind of almost expected. Like I, I, I pop, I probably would have thought that this could have happened too, but I didn't go with it at first. But when it actually happened, I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. We are going there, and the, and they they went in for the the kiss, and it wasn't no, you know, hitch movie moment where it was like yeah. you come ninety, I come ten. They just went right yeah. for yeah. it, and no, I was like, well, okay. Like, now. Been here before. This this is not this is not new. This is this yeah, is but new. it was live initiating and Dom Dirty resisting. Business. Resisting yeah. was business. futile at this point. <laughs> so this leads me to uh, another. Um, you know, lesson, life lesson, TK life lesson. Here's Is the this thing. a life lesson or a bad analogy? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find <laughs> out. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, no, no love on the business. Oh, no. I didn't, I don't know which. I'm uh, getting a wop? They got Professor <laughs> the wop. No way. I'm getting a wop. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you're going to treat somebody so poorly, because like, Here's the thing. Mommy always wants to be on top. But when you're always on top, the person on at the bottom might not always want to be on the bottom. And so therefore, they're going to want to be on top too. And if you're not willing to share, then they're going to go somewhere else. Uh, 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 there were movies made like this. Just to <laughs> know. There's a lot of movies that taught us about this. When I and, warned y'all. I got a want for warning you guys for exactly what was going to happen. Well, I I I no, no. She I was getting there. She was getting there. She was like, look, she what she's saying is you can only be submissive for so long. And you know, you never really had Rhea give Dom anything to make him feel like a man. He was always the boy toy. You have her gone three months. Liv is putting you on this pedestal. Got buying you, you nuggets and buying you PS5s yeah. and video games. Yeah, and finally got you a pops. Like, <laughs> yeah, yo, you, got you, 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 want to go you helped your friends get, get the bag, too. Like, listen, like, I'm not. Hey, this is and then I you get can it. get further for my folks who are in relationships. Uh -oh. This is further. a life lesson. You can't be just treating go. your partner anyhow. Because there's gonna, somebody who's going to want to buy them things, say nice things, all that stuff, and you're going to look up, they gone. <laughs> now, TK? Just saying. You know, I'm not mad at that. I'm yeah, I'm not saying. laughing at you. I'm laughing at one of the comments. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm not it's mad a, at that. I think it's a fantastic it's, analogy. It is. It was a great analogy. But it's the whole... Saying, on, that's weak, that's weak because, weak. but, but... But I'm only going to say this one time. I'm not saying it no more. There are some people mm -hmm. who aren't necessarily fans of being on top. Yeah, but just because you're not a fan of being on top doesn't mean that the person wants to be at the bottom all the time. So therefore, you have to let the person who want, doesn't want to be on the bottom all the time, let them be on top once in a while. Maybe they just need once in a while and they're fine. Well, should they express that? Did Dom express this to mommy? I'm sure he did when he tried to when he did when he tried to protect her, and she's like, "No, you're mine." And then he was like, "No, he was trying to get back in her good graces." Yeah, no. Now, now yeah, that I he, think about the writing was all on the wall, and now for my folks, there is the life lessons that need to be learned, and you take <laughs> those lessons. And, and this situation yes, right. has it, it's saved your relationship. Yes, and less than learned in the mayor's point. Buy your man a PS5. PS5. Exactly. <laughs> Grant that that, that's that's the lesson in all of this, folks. <laughs> that's the lesson. Is it really coming out, Councilman? Because I still don't think it's ever coming out. <sighs> they on strike now, so I don't know. Like all the animators and video game people on strike. I don't oh, know who wow. gets yeah, I, I don't I don't see it coming. Maybe maybe 2030. Probably. Damn. 
It's like a Dre album right now. They say it's coming, but wow, yeah, there it is. So yeah. that match was crazy what though. Oh, uh, but can we can we talk about the dislocated shoulder though? Oh yeah, that yeah. That was a re- that. Listen, Ooh. I can't. That was that was a fit. How crazy! How crazy! It was like a Finn Balor moment for Rhea Ripley. Mm-hmm. Now, Jason, you was out there. You was yeah. out there. Was that real or was That's- Rhea just a great actor? You know, I I mean, it looked real. I watched it when I got home yesterday because I wanted to see it, and like, it didn't look normal. I mean, unless no. she can like, because I think Alexa Bliss can like like bend her elbow. She's the double other jointed, way. but yeah, that's a jointed, different yeah. kind of thing. But like. What's interesting is because I really don't know if it was real or not, and I'm okay with that. But my wife watched it, and she was like, "Oh, like she lost." And she goes, "Oh my god, what? Like, what is that? They're, are they going to stop it?" And I'm like, "Just watch, just watch." So I don't know. Uh, she is tough, regardless. Mm-hmm. Super strong, like, strong as hell, and just mentally strong. Because if that's a real thing, and that she, the way she was able to put it back, I think three times it yeah. came out. Yeah. So you could see something was up. And, yeah. uh, but like I said, watching it again, I'm just going to say it was real. All three mm-hmm. times. Yeah. Well, I bad. feel like if it, part of me wants to say it's real, but I feel like if it wasn't real or if it was real, then they would have like forget Rhea's feelings just on a, um, on a level of protecting your athletes. Like say she dislocated and now she's out for a long time. It's now mm. recorded that she told them to stop oh. and they didn't stop. Like they had free will. To, like you have free will to stop because all athletes want to keep on going, right? Yeah. It's up to the organization to stop the athlete because if they injure themselves to the point of return, then you've now lost your investment just on a business front. So when I'm looking at from that side, I'm like, they had to stop it. But I feel well, like- I would I'm also saying? say historically in pro wrestling, they've not done that. You know, people have literally, I mean, Triple H finished a match with a torn quad yeah. in the Cold. same WWE. Stone okay? Cold uh, with his neck. Stone Cold's neck was broken in SummerSlam and he finished yeah, the match. Yeah, when was that? Was that, that was- yeah, When was before. that? That was 97, no, 98. That's my point. We're now so in the H was- when, with when, with investors and more people to answer to. Okay, well then, if you want update it, if you want update it, John Cena when he fought Batista and he messed his neck up during SummerSlam, he still yeah, or even Finn Balor CM, with Seth CM still bu- Punk, Buckle Bomb, CM yeah. Punk at the top of the year. Okay, in the Royal Rumble, dislocated his elbow or shoulder and finished the match. So, I mean, there it depends really on the severity of the injury and whether or not the person can continue. The, the crazy part is you often figure out as athletes how to either work through pain or make whatever adjustments you need to make. And right. that's a very real thing. And so I think what can be hard sometimes is, you know, for those of us who have never had that happen, it would take us out. I think there's no question about that. Yeah. Um, I so so I think that's probably what's difficult in trying, you know, for people to make the comparison. We don't know how many other times she's had to make this adjustment, you know, since this injury has happened. So right. I think um, again, it's it's one of those things where I'm not gonna argue whether it was real or not because I know for me I wouldn't have the ability to do it, but that's right. because it's never happened to me before. Right. Do we think Rhea has earned a level of uh like it was up to her? Whereas if it was somebody like Tazawa, they would have shut it down. Like, do you think maybe if because of Rhea's level uh, in the pecking order of W was her call, not necessarily the referee's call or someone in the back? I can see that. I could definitely see that. She is at that caliber now. It, well, it wouldn't surprise me. Were real- passion the level of passion that she said like don't stop it because maybe mm-hmm. the referee whispered in her ear saying like we're gonna and she like you literally saw her yell into the right. camera nobody right. can miss it so right. maybe that was like the call like all right well she's got it like she knows her body type situation yeah. so that mm-hmm. could be it too um but 
I, I understand it's happened in the past, but with all the more when when you have more people to answer to, there's just more there's there's just more there's a level of checks and balances that it, it the fun or the access to Rhea saying I'm gonna continue doing it and now you know Triple H or The Rock or whoever, whoever has these 20 people now to answer to as far as why this happened type situation if it were real and and if it weren't well, even even if it were or were not real she did an amazing job because if it wasn't real sh- shit <laughs> like yeah dude, that was acting on a whole nother that was oscar worthy acting i yeah. i would also say this is the same company that employs the ufc so yeah so they don't stop it for things of that nature you have to be knocked out <laughs> so, and to be fair, they work their injuries because i think Rhea was also injured when she faced uh becky at wrestlemania and then they had to write it out because she was already her arm was already injured and she still went through with the match i mean look at seth leading up to mania he had mm-hmm. his mm-hmm. yeah and they made yeah. a storyline yeah so either way that match was a damn good start that was fire. only the, that was only the beginning yeah. That it was, was it. crazy because when the match was over, I already felt spent. I'm like, oh my god, we have like six other matches to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think they got 16 minutes for that. Ugh. So, which good. was great, and it made Liv thrive. It really made Liv yeah. shine. Out. She looked like, great looked too. Amazing. She looked amazing. Um. So the next one was a uh, Braun Breaker versus Sami Zayn. So what did we think of that one? Kind of, kind of knew that was going to happen. Kind of predicted. I kind of wasn't predicting it to be. I'm not going to sit here and say it was a squash, but it felt squashy because it was so short and so sudden that when it counted three, mm-hmm. when the ref counted three, I was like, oh, oh, OK, the match is over. But, you know, I, I felt like there, there could have been something else to to be put as like a stipulation in this match as far as like maybe like falls count anywhere or something like that, just to up the ante a bit. But overall, the match was was great. And Braun Breaker, your new your new champ, your new intercontinental champ, and him being coming up from NXT so vastly and already getting getting a strap that's going that was pretty pre- has been pretty prestigious for a long, long time. And usually when they give you that belt, it's like, okay, we see this guy definitely for us in the future. So he's on a very, very good list of a uh, list of other people that have held that belt too. I saw Braun in NXT and uh Okay, it was cool. It was, you know, beginning of Braun Breaker. But seeing him now, the, you know, the guy is so fast. And seeing that in person, uh, you know, I think it made sense for him to win now. Last month, they were in Canada for Money in the Bank. So, Sammy's from Canada. Maybe they didn't want to go down that route. And if you guys want to see something crazy, his, uh, uh, Braun Breaker was on McAfee last week. And they were showing a lot of his college football highlights and his high school football highlights. This guy was a running back at Kennesaw State and broke several, like, 80-yard runs for touchdowns. And then they flipped to his high school where he was a linebacker just cutting guys in half. Like, if you want to see what this guy was like 10 years ago, you know, he made played for the Baltimore Ravens, but it didn't, you know, really go well. He wanted to be a wrestler. And the sky's the limit for this guy. Like, I'm a big fan of Braun Breaker. And like I said, seeing him now, and, and I love the special camera shots he's getting, the overheads when he's – Running around the ring to lay someone out. It's amazing. So uh, a fun match. I didn't I really didn't know if it was gonna go that way for him. I thought maybe they would let Sammy keep going. Uh so it wasn't as much of a this is gonna happen for me. Uh I just want to acknowledge uh Jacob DeLawrence hashtag blame Jacob um for our NXT show, which is floundering because of him i'm just gonna blame it become jacob so if you want this <laughs> show to continue i suggest you guys tweet at jacob floundering. that's hilarious floundering wow uh yeah you know Braun breaker is just a special athlete i mean i think we just have to acknowledge this and what's even more special is many would say well it's because of his pedigree um, but he he is just special. Like, I mean, you could argue that he is faster than his dad and his uncle. Um, he he just has incredible skill right now. And to be watching his ascent is incredible. The thing that was interesting to me about his NXT run is that it was in NXT 2.0. 
And there you knew everybody was developmental, developmental. Mm -hmm. And so he was easily the best of that crew, but there was nobody that was really close to him in that crew. So really, you know, the, the issue now is, all right, well, let's, Let's see what he can do in this space of the main roster. And I think athletically, this is where he's going to be really, really challenged. And it's good to see. So uh, I'm excited for him. I think it's going to be fun to see what happens uh, with this run in the Intercontinental Championship history. Cousin Ron say, I think making uh, this squashy uh, was the right move. Um, so yeah, I agree. I agree. I replayed them five minutes back. Time and time again, <laughs> I went off watching Mick Foley Jr. get squashed like that. Jr. At first, I, I was tired from live, but that woke me up. I was like, Yep, that's what I need because now Sammy gonna come back with that fire. Mm -hmm. Give me something different. Also, the, makes me well, oh, no, I'll no, say that. no, no, I'll, I'll say that because I think I know where Sammy may be targeted next. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, just like how y'all said with uh, Braun, I don't, I, you know, y'all can say the pedigree. I know some people try to maybe say nepotism, but when he won, my first thought was, this feels right in his hands. Like, yes. the, who has to go after him for the Intercontinental Division is going to be something insane. It's going to make everybody step up. And I was like, this division is in good hands. Like, no, no, no disrespect to Sammy on that part. He did good as as the I won't call him transitional champion, but as his championship run. But like this one lets us know, like, hey, we're we're, we're focusing on our mid division on both programs as we start to move to new platforms like uh, SmackDown the USA and Raw. Are you looking like mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. No, stop. No, you oh, sent me alone. Oh Good my God. And Good. I like wow. to say things too about nepotism. There's nothing wrong with nepotism. At the end of the day, if you get a, a position based off of who your mother, father, aunt, uncle is, it's still up to you to do the job. Because if you're terrible, we've seen a lot of wrestlers, kids, mm -hmm. and also kids of athletes try the sport of their of you know whoever their family is and they either did great or they floundered so like yes you have that opportunity but it's still up to you to make it work so you know bring on the nepotism shoot mm -hmm. i have i have no i have no problem with that when little professor starts doing all these things on the television at age eight you can't hate him because his dad is amazing. So, like, what are we talking about? No, start from the bottom. Wait till you're 19. You Collect the check, talented. little professor. Collect the check. Just saying. Interestingly <laughs> enough, TK, there are, and I see some of the names in the uh, chat, there are just as many names that have not done well that were second generation stars that got that opportunity. Um, mm -hmm. David San Martino comes to mind. I think of David Flair. Uh, I think of Scott Putsky. I mean, like, Bro, there are a number of Ted DiBiase Jr. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the names are, are equally significant. So, uh, ultimately, you know, your talent is going to have to, your talent and your ability and your willingness to learn is what's going to secure your position in a specific space. And it has to speak for itself. Yeah, yeah, especially now. Especially now. There it is. Uh, so we have Logan Paul and LA Knight. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna hand this to Honey. I'm not even gonna. Y'all yeah, already know. Y'all already know. It's the, this. It's time to get this monkey out of here. We need to get this monkey off of our backs. We need to get him away from us, Logan Paul. Bye bye. We'll not miss you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Take away the prime logo. We don't need that monkey piss in a bottle. Thank you very much. We're tired of you taking our, taking titles and, and running off with them and only defending them twice. It, it, it's just BS. And, and we won't miss you. Shout outs to LA Knight. Wow. Yeah. To me, that was the match of the night. It was, I loved every bit of it. Mm hmm. That was a fun match. It you was know what? Fun. Go ahead, honey. I'm sorry. You know what? I will say one thing, though, Logan Paul. That one maneuver 
that one maneuver you did, and I know we all know what maneuver I'm talking about. That jump off the top Same rope, the moon salt. That 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 was fire. Yeah, was I fire. give you that. But other than that, bye. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry, guys. No, no, it was it was a fun match. I you know I like the MGK tie-in. I thought that was fun. Um, you know, LA Knight beating the hell out of the Prime Boys and stuff. That's cool too. So. It was just fun, and I think that L.A. Knight, he's obviously earned it. The guy's been around forever. I mean, when I lived in L.A., I saw him in, like, small indies. That, like, 40 people were there, and it's just like – and then everything the guy did is Eli Drake and the Facts of Life and the Dummy. Yeah, like, he should have been doing that in WWE many years ago. But, look, man, he's 41 years old right now. Um, let him just go, and I, I – don't know if you guys are laughing at me or all the comments because I keep well, no, I'm laughing at Cindio. You, you had to be here. We'll explain. All right. So we'll explain. <laughs> yeah. For me, a lot of people don't like Logan Paul, but I think he's good for business, aside from what happened last week with the boxing stuff. It makes dollars, it makes sense to WWE right now. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen Bosa, and I've known Bosa for a long time. I have never seen so much vitriol uh, towards somebody from Bosa. It, oh, ba ba boss lady, you got to see us on Friday nights when oh. he was shipping your Friday nights. Oh. It was even worse. Uh, no, wait. Let's yeah. let's inform the boss lady because again, you know, she's been away. She's missed a whole lot here. Was it Friday night that it really popped off? Was it Friday night when it popped it off? Was. I, yeah, it Friday was. Night, it was Friday night, we're doing night. our prediction show. Set is here. Somehow we end up in a Lola Vice conversation. Oh, um, oh God. Asuka's name is brought up. And if you think, now wait, if you think that what uh, Boza just said was something, no, no. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Cindio. Was who is always so nice and kind, sharing all right. the great information about Japanese wrestlers. Let me tell you how <laughs> she ripped said a whole new one. We all were in complete shock. We could <laughs> not believe it. It was you just stuff. This, this, is, this is promo bad. for you guys to go back and watch the Friday show if you yeah. missed it because we, we can't even fully put into words all that. Wow. Cindy will put our jaws on the floor. You hear me? So was said was quiet funny. after that? Uh, no, he was, no, he was not. He actually was, was very upset. He was like, I feel like writing an article or something. I'm going to be doing something. That was it. He, he, he stopped talking after that. He, stopped he, was, he was like, we that pissed like, me off. I was like, uh-oh. Well, he brought it on himself. He brought it on himself. You shouldn't have brought up Oscar like that. And, and, and you, come out had, had the nerve to talk about that spinning back fist, knowing that the no. councilman <laughs> the councilman perfected it in 13 seconds. Yeah, well, I still got it. Woo! Just trust me. Go, go back to Friday's show. It was it was incredible. It, it was, was incredible. incredible. So yeah, well, but good riddance, Paul. Bye. Maybe that's why Logan Zed is Paul. sick today. I mean, maybe that's why he's he's not. <laughs> well, here. I, I, I asked him did uh, Lola bring him some soup. He didn't. He chose not to answer. Um, oh. for some reason, I I would think uh you know she would want to take care of her mayor of Vice City. Apparently not. Perry is very lawless in that city. Um, <laughs> the Perezziacs would never allow, allow me to be sick and not check on me. I'm just throwing no, that wait, out. Wait, 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 wait. The who? The Perez. Oh, 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 I forgot. We had Pop ah, Rock did. City. The Perez of Pop be, yeah. Rock City. She's missed it all. Yeah. She's oh, missed it yes. all. She's we've been, we've been, all. we've been going to Strattonville. We've been here with the Perez yes. because you know for some reason, uh, Cedric, it was under the impression that <laughs> Lola Vox was Kobe Brown. <laughs> yeah, I think he was the only one. <laughs> he really thought that. <laughs> he was so ready. I saw oh boy. He stepped down as mayor of Vice City. He did. <laughs> For like two weeks. He did. He, he did. decided he wanted to get reelected. This is what you get for posting that picture of Cedric. I ain't done with you. You and I are like Drew McIntyre and CM Punk right now. This yeah, is not. <laughs> 
Well, then. Um, oh, boy. Then. Well, well, SummerSlam. Um, yes. In That's defense of Logan Paul, because I know you guys hate him, I agree with Jason. He is really good for business. And also on a, 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 a serious, not a serious note, but a, a respect note, why I respect him. You guys should watch his documentary on Netflix where it talks about him and his brother and how they, you know, where they came from and stuff like that. On a business level, I can see, I see you're rolling your eyes at me, honey. It's okay. On a business, on a business level, I can see how he's good for business um, on multiple fronts. Like to be able to be a WWE superstar, get in the ring and kiss your own logo. Like. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's a that's that that's multiple streams. And you know, for y'all who've been following me, multiple multiple streams of in- income. If that was a, a drinking game, like that is multiple streams of income on a whole nother level. Like she been drinking, she been drinking. Sorry, keep. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and you said, said if multiple streams were drinking, I'm just a drinking game. Yep. So TK and and on that business front, at Money in the Bank in Toronto, I was there. And they were uh, they had they were handing out prime out mm. outside the arena, right? Oh, nice. right, right alongside with C four, uh, oh. right next to each other. And then wow. it's SummerSlam. Not only were they handing out prime, it was the SummerSlam edition uh, prime bottle, like the prime hydration station that was there. They were uh-huh. handing it out, and that one has the SummerSlam logo. On the bottle, I guarantee on eBay, the people that got those are trying to sell those for like fifty bucks, a hundred bucks a bottle. It was so. I mean, wow, wow. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, Logan Paul is a, a personality wise. Yes, he's an a hole, but there's so much he's done that you just you can't deny. It. Like it'd have been different had he not went through the training. It'd be different mm-hmm, had mm-hmm. he not like went through all the stuff to give us phenomenal <laughs> matches. Yeah. Do I like the guy? Not at all. But what I do like is the door that he left open. He did leave the place better than he found it because uh, I know you're not gonna like this, but for someone like yourself, honey, what if your when your stuff gets to a million followers and the WWE wants to work with you? And then you become Selena Vega's manager and you're on the social medias like that. He left it to where that next step, you can't go lower than what he's done. You can't, you can't now. You have to be able to have those opportunities. I love that manifestation. <laughs> Said what is happening oh right now? Zendil is on it. Wow. Mayor. <laughs> wow. You were about to lose your job. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh but boy. I, I love the manifestation, councilman. I love the words yeah. put them out there. <laughs> I appreciate that. Super cool. But glad to see you. Uh, right. You have you make a you make a great point. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh wow. Um honey from I agree, honey from <laughs> y'all. Uh Eddie's saying somebody's been drinking too much. I, you know what? I've never had prime. Um me neither. I mean, unless it they tastes like Kool-Aid. Yeah, it tastes like a I could just make Kool Aid. I don't need to drink it then. You know, there, there it is. Yeah. Uh, but next, that then we go every day. Uh, let's go to Bailey and Nia Jax. Hmm, that was a solid Dope. match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dope. Mm-hmm. Dope. Dope match. Nia Jax has been next level since she came back. Mm-hmm. Killing it, killing it, absolutely killing it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I'm here for this. This new war with Cindio and said. So, for all of you who are listening, Cindio oh has now said to said, "quote I am about as afraid of you as Julia will be of Lola Vice." Lord, girl. The mm-hmm. mayor suggested that he was going to mm-hmm. best her in fisticuffs. I like how you said that because that is uh. A, a version of what he said, absolutely yeah. the version we can say. The most PG version I've heard of it. Yeah, I'm not the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all of you who are listening to us via podcast, this is why you have to join us on the live stream because you get to <laughs> see these things happening in real time. Yes, yes, wow. yes but right. Queen, but Queen, Queen Naya did her thing and she looked great doing it. 
Um, everybody thought that there was going to be a cash in and, you know, a failed cash in or anything. I was like, I don't think we, I don't think we should rush that. She just got it a new design. Tiffany just got a new design. You know, that's going to sell like crazy already. But, mm-hmm. um, I feel like there's so much more of the stirring of the pot that they could do with these two. But right now they're just enjoying it, uh, for themselves because both of these women, they have, excuse you. Oh, no, I got him. I got him. I got him. Thank you. That's a rude. Worry comment. not. Worry but, not. But um, Nia, that was that was Nia Jax's and T- Tiffany Stratton's first SummerSlam. Yep. Correct. What do you think about that for Nia Jax? That was her first SummerSlam. But think about how long she's been in the business already. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't even think of that when she had said that in the press conference. I was like, oh wow, this really was. And and then to main to you know not main, not main event, but at least be the you know one of the many reasons why you know, the booties are in the seats is, is a championship match on the line and you're against Bailey. It was definitely giving NXT black and gold vibes all the way. Them two went at it and, and Bailey did great, but Queen Nia, baby. Queen Nia. Yeah. I think it was, was really, we saw her go on a great journey this year. You're right. And I think uh commentary did mention it. Like when she, when she left the first time, you know, she had the belt. I've personally felt like she was missing something. She had everything and she was missing the uh, character development and i feel like this time around like you're not you're not trying to decide where she fits in like she's owning every part of who she is and Mm -hmm. this is well deserved um Mm -hmm. so the the timing was perfect i i know um when they did australia and she lost to ria we thought she was gonna get it but if they had this planned all along then kudos to the writers and everybody else who had, because I, I was kind of upset. I was like, this she is well deserving back then. So now mm-hmm. to have it, it's just the, it's just the perfect mix. So you know, this is why I'm, you know, I and I'm saying that's a hundred drinking game too. I wish I could like could be a fly on the writer's wall as far as if they had this planned for. Oh a yeah. Time. I mean, if you look at it though, it, it really seemed like it just because. You know, WWE does listen to the fans. And so, you know, there's been like a lot of talk about her, like being reckless in the ring, injuring people, her not wanting to really take it seriously. And for them to go like, hey, we're going to align that into this storyline. And then to see her put on such a phenomenal performance at SummerSlam, because that was the only thing I was kind of concerned about was this going to be kind of a squash match or is this going to be like, you know, a real legit match for Bailey? And it was like, yo, y'all showed everything because especially when uh, Bailey like power, uh, power bombed her off to the turn, mm-hmm. but, mm-hmm. you know, normally we'd look like, okay, somebody like a Bianca Belair or Jade is going to be the only one to get that. But right. to see like Bailey do it, it's like okay, now we're seeing her taking the bigger risk and stuff. So when it comes to a different opponent, we know that we're gonna get a lot of great spots from her moving forward. So it just just adds to the creative writing and just the just do of like Nia finally getting hers. I agree. This was very special, and you know, this again. I, I think I've mentioned this over the last few months. This is the beautiful problem in WWE of having so many people who are stars right now. You have so many stars in both the men's and women's division, with women and men who are killing it. Everybody can't be champion at the same time. So for the rise that we saw of Naya, you know, this is just kind of a great reminder in the words of TNA to trust the system, right? Like this is where you let the process do what it does and where people were upset about WrestleMania and Naya not being there. The bigger question is, okay, but there's a SummerSlam that's coming. There's still a stadium show that's coming. And in the process, she becomes the first ever, or she becomes the second ever queen of the ring. But now we're in a space where, and I think this SummerSlam proved it, that the queen of the ring and the king of the ring matter. You know, these are not useless tournaments to just fill the time and create a PLE. You get an opportunity, a prime opportunity at a world championship. And much like winning the Royal Rumble and money in the bank, there is the strong possibility of you becoming a world champion. And Nia Jax proved that. Yeah. And then shout out to her, too, because of a big respect of pushing it towards the next generation, too, because to allow my client to share that moment with her you know the first first Mm -hmm. summer slam winning the title but also knowing like yo showing y'all who the future of this company is going to be it's like 
I just hope it takes away all the Nia Jax hate. Like you could tell this woman is for the brand. She's happier. She's having a better time. You you can tell she's in a better space. And so I just can't wait to continue to see what Nia does uh, leading them to, you know, further into her career. Your, your client. Oh yeah. You, oh, you, you didn't know I was the councilman in Strattonville. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we planned all of this, you know, like everybody thought he was going to cash. I'm like, look, 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 we, we got to treat this like gumbo. And I know Tiffany Stratton may not have had gumbo. So, but like I had to explain to her, This is true. You got to make your roux first. You got to let it, we, we got to let it cook. Then we got to throw all of the expensive king crabs in there. The big prawn <laughs> shrimps for you. Because, you know, we got to make it elegant for, for Tiffany Stratton. So we, we, we are going to let this cook. We are going to get these sales from this new money in the bank. We are going to stay under the queen's good graces. We're going to have phenomenal matches that make us look fantastic. But understand, y'all going to know when it's Tiffy time and it's going to be the right time with the councilman behind her. <laughs> Jackson, you ruined NXT. Don't nobody need to hear from you right now. You are the man. Both of you need to go get your residencies in check is what you need to do. <laughs> Your residencies and check. Uh, <laughs> what's going on in my cities? Don't worry about all that. This is great. This is great it. on so many levels. Love it. We love to see all it. Right. Yes. Um, all but right. But congratulations, congratulations to Naya. Great look for Tiffy time, um, mm-hmm. and a great look for for Bailey as well. Again, another scenario where really nobody lost. Right? Mm-hmm. Like Bailey doesn't have the championship right now but her status has been elevated to where she can absolutely be deemed an elder statesman at this point. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's a great space to be in. Yeah. Very sure. true. Uh, we have CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. My, my, this was fun. My. This oh. match was fun. Ooh, really? Funny. I felt for me, it was fun. It was funny for me. Oh <laughs> Lord. I, I know it was be funny for you. All right. I, I'll try to be the uh, non-biased one here uh, (laughs) and say that this was a great match. I I think of all of the stories that were told coming into this, this is one of the most anticipated matches because it had the old school feel. These guys have never wrestled before. You know, Mm -hmm. they had these fights. We didn't have any, you know, tag matches teasing them. So we knew we were getting something very, very special. All of the heat that needed to be put into this was put into this. And the storytelling was iconic. I mean, all the way from the details of of a special guest referee in Seth Rollins who hates them. And then the call, the full call back to 97 SummerSlam where you've got Brett and The Undertaker with Shawn Michaels as the referee. I mean, they even wore very similar gear, which is crazy. I mean, the black and pink that CM Punk had on, the Undertaker-like trench coat that Drew had on, the specific moves where there was almost the chair shot just like the chair shot that cost the Undertaker the world title. Like, this was just beautiful. The attention, the detail. CM Punk being the one that's distracted this time, where Drew McIntyre had been distracted all the times previously. It was mm-hmm. just, it was masterfully done. And to me, for everybody who has said so many bad things about CM Punk, I'm sure no one would have written a story that said CM Punk's first singles match in over 10 years in WWE results in him losing. No one would have ever said that. If but we CM prayed Punk- for it. We prayed oh, for it, though. See, there, you, there you go. So all of that to say it was fantastic. Uh, Anthony says too much attention was paid to the bracelet. I disagree. I think the bracelet was a reminder of, again, the kinds of distractions that have been happening in this story. You mm-hmm. know, uh, the same kinds of distractions that cost Drew McIntyre the world title now turns around and costs CM Punk his uh, debut singles match back in WWE. Brilliant story. Absolutely brilliant storytelling. And I can't wait to see what happens from here because you I, know it's not over. 
I yep. personally, I personally think that the attention should have been paid to the bracelet only because it also was a way for it to usher in what everybody's really waiting to see. And that's going to be the next storyline and what goes on between CM Punk and Seth Rollins. Mm -hmm. That's so, what every, that, that's what, I, that's what everybody wants. You know, I didn't love it. I, I'm yes. glad Drew got his revenge. I <laughs> Drew oh. definitely put Sorry, the nail I mean. in the coffin. No, it's okay. I was just saying he just put the nail in the coffin. <laughs> for I, I feel like there was too much attention on Seth Rollins. Like I felt like like this was a match I was really looking for. They really built this perfect. They weren't able to really no physicality. You know the physicality was none. It was a great story put together. This felt like this should have been like a knockdown drag out fight. But to me, it felt like it was too much attention on Rollins and too much attention to the bracelet. Now saying that, I think the next match between Drew and Punk. Is going to be outstanding, whatever that is. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully, not a bracelet on a pole match, or a you know a bracelet ladder match, or hopefully uh -huh. nothing like that. Uh, but what bracelet I do in the bank, <laughs> <laughs> bracelet in the bank, bracelet in the bank. That's um, great. I oh. am curious to see. Like, actually, what I want to know is where did Punk get that bracelet? I thought somebody been... made that for him. Oh, okay. yeah, that looks like yeah. something. Made. Yeah, I think a fan like a meet and greet it. kind of thing, right? Like a, at a meet and greet or something, they gave it to him. Yeah, yeah, it was like a like a diehard fan, like and the kid like mm -hmm. had made it for him. And I wonder if that's fans getting any kickback for this because that bracelet's being used more than you know whatever. So, Cindio ah! is burning. Said, "Oh my lord!" And say his name six times, and in his sickness, he appears. He's a, he's here. Mayor oh, Hendry, you sick? You don't look sick. <laughs> I tried to stay away. I tried to bite my tongue, but I will not sit back and be slandered by this petty politician. And that. Uh, in oh no! We talk about the Lola Vice Wi-Fi. Is not <laughs> Wi-Fi don't work in Vice City, apparently. Oh no! <laughs> Um, oh man. no! Oh, man. Not, not the Lola Vice Wi-Fi. Lola Vice Wi-Fi is not working. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't back yet. He's still loading. Well, I'm waiting for the, uh, the Wi-Fi in Vice City to reload. Uh, what were we saying? <laughs> oh, this is great. Talking about know. Drew and CM Punk. Race on a ladder match? I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. But I am looking forward to the next Punk McIntyre thing. And, of course, we're going to get Punk. Maybe we get the triple threat next. I just I just want to keep seeing <laughs> CM Punk ass get Claymore, curb stomped, pedigreed, um, anything else that just continues to happen. I, as long as it's CM Punk ass getting his ass kicked, I am all here for it. That that went. I bought wings after that happened, and I was at a bar. Wow. I was at a wow. bar. I just wanted to celebrate. I just I need to wait till. <laughs> what is that? When they're coming out? Are they coming out tomorrow to fix the internet, or is that when they come <laughs> Wednesday? Oh. Uh, I I was not a fan of CM Punk in AEW at all, but like I kind of like what he's done here, and I feel like it's the same thing for. Mercedes Monet versus Sasha Banks. Like in WWE, there's structure, there's format. Whereas in AEW, it's just kind of like the wild, wild west. And I feel like that, like I said, I didn't like Punk in AEW at all. But what he has done in the, the six months he's been back in WWE, I just, it's just, and I just, I, I, I can't wait to see what's next. I can't wait to see what he does tonight on Raw. Here, I'm, I'm going to give you a whole scoop, Jason. All right. You're going to walk down the ramp. Trip. Okay. Injure himself, and then oh. he's gonna go back to commentary because wow. he's old. Oh, you know? No joke. At, at, at uh, Saturday, I leaned over to my buddy Joe and I'm like, I would not be surprised if Punk gets hurt in this match. It, he, it did it, and, I'm, and I hate putting that shit out there, but like, it's every match he has been getting hurt. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not wishing anything on him. I you keep seeing it since AW. Like something yes. happened to you. I'm like. Bro, go to the commentary table. I like the He's great. I do like what you're doing for the roster themselves, especially in NXT and all the motivation you've given. But 
bro, you you can't go like how you used to go. And and I fear something is gonna happen to you. Oh my goodness. WWT. Well, uh, but just stay long enough so you can do what you were meant to do <laughs> when you came into the WWE, and that's <laughs> getting me back here. That's, um, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the first time the comes on, but. Councilman, I, I, I he's dialed up. Motor is that Jacob? Oh. It said the no, that's not Jacob. That's the new mayor of Vice City, apparently. Oh, oh wow. This wow. is a hostile takeover, y'all. Wow. Wow. Sir, would you like to put out your first statement uh as new mayor of Vice City? Wow. <laughs> you change the name. You. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my God. Are you done, Councilman? Oh, yeah. I, I, I just asked you a question. <laughs> no, 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 Hold on. Residency. You said we, we need to get our residency together, need to get our stuff together, right? So uh, uh, your, your Vice City Wi Fi looked at too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's better than Barbie Land where you at, so you know. We pop and fine over here, Chief. Normally, I come in here and I have to slander my partner, Mr. Welton. But for once, I would take up for him. Minus the fact that he deserves the answer that he's getting in the comments. I mean, that's just 100. But that being said, sir, what you're not going to do is slander the good name of NXT as if me and Mr. Welton are not the heart and soul of this whole show. As if we ain't the ones that get the headlines, get everything pumping and moving around here. Now, you're, that you're, right, said, you're right. You're right. Let's talk about the main event that happened with Lola Vice in a six woman tag. No, 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 no. Can you can you guys hear me now? Yeah, can you guys, guys hear me now. You you see, you, you see, see do it like I tried this. to stay away. This was a sick day, but you guys can't keep my name out your mouth. Like I said, you cannot spell women's <laughs> wrestling talk without E S T. And you guys are proving it. You guys not even talk about SummerSlam. You guys send Dale running their mouth in the comments. This, that's it. I'm fed up now. Now I'm fed up. I challenge you all to a duel. Set the next debate. <laughs> We're going to be talking yeah. finishing moves. We're going to talk about spinning oh. back this. Sindel, you have started a war on every on. wrestler of Japan descent. I am hold on, on hold your on, ass. Mayor. <laughs> hey, Mayor, do I still get it good? <laughs> I get the get this again. <laughs> Damn, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on time because it's so good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I did it. Oh my okay. gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, mm -mm -mm. So it was Damien Priest and Gunther, right? <laughs> 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 that part. Wow. What about that Listen, match? Man. Um, <laughs> it kind of felt like Rhea and Liv. Like y'all said, y'all knew it was coming, but you didn't know it was coming. Wow. And then it happened. <laughs> and Walt, excuse me, Gunther won. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't yeah. believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. We all had our chips on Damian winning. Yeah. When I no, 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 I we, said. No, no. Professor, we had, professor said had Gunther winning. Gunther professor had Gunther, Gunther winning. But I, I will honestly say, though, with, with Gunther. <laughs> I, as soon as it happened and he was crowned and he's lifting up the belt, I was no longer mad about him losing at WrestleMania. No longer mad mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was. It made it the payoff so worth it because it's like Triple H basically said, "Hold on one second. Let me. I'm gonna take this off of you and I'm gonna put you over here and I'm gonna give you this. And then like the same thing with Dom and even Liv. Like I'm, I'm gonna put you here and then switch you on this side to the. Like he made the. He made us. He basically reminded us who the heels are, and still are, the good ones. Dom, Gunther, uh, some Drew, even you know like the it, it, Braun Breaker." I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know where he stands a little bit, but I say he's rather heelish. But holy God, this match was nuts. <laughs> this match was good. It was a it was a banger, like we all knew it was going to be, because that's all good that knows how to put on. And uh, Damien Damien Priest did his thing, but the moment Finn Balor picked up that foot and put it on the ropes, 
the noise that came out from the crowd was absolutely insane. I can't even imagine how it was live. Mm-mm-mm. You know, Finn is, uh, I think he just signed a new deal. And I think he's about to be bumped up to that next level of the card. And I saw something interesting online today that Gunther's been in WWE for like 2,000 days. And like 1,400 of those days, he's been a champion. So like, wow. that's, a, that's a cool stat that not many people get. Yeah, I think the last one like that was AJ Styles. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I think so, he said like 64% of his career he had held the title. Uh, being in WWE, you know, before the run. Right, right. Well, and and honey, you know, you were talking about all the changes. I feel like it was SummerSlam is like a reboot of WWE. Like this is the next, what's supposed to be WrestleMania, I feel like was this weekend at SummerSlam. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it felt like. Um, I got a question. I've never heard of co-mayors. How'd that work? Like y'all, do y'all both make decisions, or one of y'all work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? The other one comes. Hold on, hold on, real quick, honey, get your bag, boy. Why is he talking? Does this say what? Why what? is the bag boy talking, honey? Get your bag, boy. Why? Why is he talking? Uh, we we only address the superior, uh, so we ain't worried about the little uh, councilman, uh, honey. Uh, we'll address uh, you uh, as the uh, tribal chief, but we ain't worried about I will, the bag boy. I will not. The o, I am the OTC, honey reigns today, and I will not yes. allow any slander towards one half. Of WWT's electrifying tag team champions in digital entertainment. I'm I'm sorry. I, I have to defend my. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all have been holding whoa, it down. Whoa. We were holding whoa. it this- down while the parents were gone. A little bit here and there, you know. And we were uh, we, we had a watch along. He even joined me on the watch along. We can't we can't even get y'all to do a damn Wednesday morning show for God's sakes, Mr. Welton. Ooh. Since when did we get replaced by dollar store knockoffs? Uh, we were the we are the reigning defending undisputed podcast tag team chips. And you mean to tell me I got it? I got the tribal chief around here. Yeah, you see me, the tribal chief. That's right. You also you also have to show up. You also have to show up on on shows. You know, when, see, when you the thing. I'm really good. I don't have to show up. When you, you stop, you need the reps. Appearances, they drop your titles and then give them to those that are worthy of the no, title. No, I got the Brock. And I got the Brock deal, dog. That you, so. should, you should, you should, really ask your tag partner because I could have sworn him and the professor are tag team partners now, as he let us know. So, are you in a tag yeah. team? Is it a faction or is it? Co-tags. I don't. I don't know. It's a lot is of. This like a, are you, is this like a? Is this like? Is it my turn yet? Is it my turn yet? Can I say thing? something? This is like the Jay McDonald's down the streets. This is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I find funny, and this is a true story, guys. If you guys can hear me, you know what I find real funny. Nobody wanted to be EST at WWT, so I did it. Nobody wanted to be an elected official on WWT, till I did it. I, I find that real hilarious, don't you? I, you know, I'm you tell me to what bend you is, every time I call I, this show, I, I, but I you didn't, make it real difficult. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to show up today. Real damn Where's the mayor? Wait a minute. Where's the mayor? This is this That's this is hilarious, story. guys. Because look at this. I'm about to set it straight right now. Look, because you have right here the mayor of Vice City. But then on the side, right next to him, you also have the new mayor of Vice City. So what's going on here? Who's lying? So Because there was just a hostile. You're lying. <laughs> I just want to know who's the real mayor here. Like, you know, it's like, who's the real leader of Judgment Day? You know? <laughs> Whoever Wi-Fi worked the best that day. That's his name. <laughs> Oh my god, this is man. Oh, that, that's my cute. cute. That, that that's cute. That's wow. cute. It's cute, Barbie. No, that's cute. No, 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 no. cute is the hell going against Roxy. Cute <laughs> is you think the Lola Vice was gonna beat Roxy. That's cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not think <laughs> that Lola was gonna win. Okay, let's let's not confuse me oh. or my partner over here to my left. Okay? Never meant to be like this. I want you to understand. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Um, 
I'm going to let you guys get back to it. Uh, before I leave, I just want to say that Code Red is better than Pop Rocks. Wow. What is Code Red again? Code Red is Councilman. Are you talking about the Mountain Dew drink? Yes. Mountain Dew Code Red is very great. It's better than Pitch Black for sure. Pitch Black's terrible. There we go. Well we played. Should. Well we played. We should. Um, I, I, I think we should uh, maybe get a cool down. And then Pharaoh walked out with Cody. Holy cow. How about Jelly Roll? Jelly Roll was awesome. Yeah, Jelly Roll was great. Jelly Roll with a toke slam and a 15 knuckle shuffle and a partridge in a pear tree. It was awesome. <laughs> you know, they, yeah. put out, they put out a Jelly Roll SummerSlam shirt. I saw it online today. It's oh, wow. Cool. He's holding the belt. It's Jelly, Bowl, Jelly Roll era. He was good. I like. I, I I don't I like know it. a lot about him, but I know a lot of people love his music and stuff. And I like the song he did with MGK. Uh, but he did great. He did great in the, the the opening show. He did great with the the wrestling stuff, which you know a lot of artists they don't they can't do it or they look sloppy. He looked mm -hmm. the part. Do we think yeah. Jelly Roll is the next Bad Bunny in WWE? I can see it. I can see it. I go like I can't. I could see them. Mm. Trying to work mm. that in some way. That'd be cool. When you say Bad Bunny, uh, you just mean the next artist across cross like, over? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an artist getting into wrestling. And oh, okay. Into, and like, okay, I was going to say, because he'd be more like Big Show than Bad Bunny if we keeping it a buck. I, I mean, <laughs> you, Bad Bunny was amazing at what he did, obviously, but like for that three minutes he was in the ring, he looked the part. He looked great. Oh, no, he looked great. Yeah, just... Okay, I just, I just want clarity because you know you say the next bad bunny. I'm thinking like top shelf, like you could put on a banger by yourself, step above Logan Paul. You know, we we just just yeah bring him down a little bit. That's Hope where you happen. where did you go? We just what he yeah. said, the next artist, and they're gonna work with him in WWE. Like yeah, you said the next bad bunny no. specifically though. You you need to check that Wi-Fi over there in Stratonville because uh clearly your cables and your fiber ain't working like it should be, Chief. Your background speaking work, of so Chief. Speaking of speaking of Chief. <laughs> speaking of Chief, there was a fantastic main event that transpired yeah. at SummerSlam. Man, what a phenomenal, dare I say, main event. A a a and it brings it, with, so with a tear in my eye, <laughs> I raised my hands when I tell you I heard that music and I saw that man walk out, and I I fell to the floor and I damn near cried, damn near cried because I could not believe that they pulled the trigger on having our trial. He was special. It was special. It was beautiful. It was magical. The pop from the crowd was absolutely nuts. I was losing my mind. I, I just couldn't believe that they actually, I thought we were going to, I honestly thought we were going to see the final boss before we saw the tribal chief. And uh, yeah, he blew the roof off of the place and he did what he needed to do, but he still had a little glance at that title. He I got it. You call me crybabies. We coming for you. We'll deal with you later because we got family business to tend to first. Who who won that match? I don't remember nothing past Roman coming out. I don't remember nothing after that. Who, who? Cody did win the match. Cody did okay. win the match. Okay. Nope. Okay. Win the match. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't remember nothing after the tribal chief. I don't remember. <laughs> it, was it was bloodline rules. It was that then the press conference. I th I thought it went off. <laughs> He's weird so long, and that was it. I'll remember the rest. All I know is that his face was priceless. Solo's so, face in the ring was priceless. So reports about Jacob Fatu, it, it looked like a real injury, but Sean Ross Sapp reported today that he was told to sell it and then was seen in a walking boot later that night and the next day. I was nervous because the, the Jacob Fatu – three-week superstar experience has been insane for WWE. And I was really nervous. I was nervous because I'm like, this is not the guy to go down in three three weeks. Right. Was, I'm just glad that the reports are coming out that it was meant to be, it was supposed to be like that. So to keep him away from Roman. 
Yes, exactly. It's more of an equal sign, uh, but I'll take the compliment. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I I've been gone a long time. I did not expect this on my return show. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 Casey, you me both. Probably, I've been long, gone longer. I'm, I don't know what's going on. Oh man, you know, y'all ain't like like Triple H said. Y'all y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Didn't you know we got a lot left in the tank? Mm -hmm. I got a lot left in the tank. Just, can we get to Friday? Can we get to Friday? <laughs> I, I know. Can we, we, can't rush, to we can't rush tonight, though. We can't rush tonight. No, no, no. But Speaking I got a question. Uh -huh. what, does, what does this do now for Cody? Where does this leave Cody after all of this? Cody it leaves him as the title chief. <laughs> as I say, it leaves him as the WWE champion, and he should probably be very happy that he survived uh SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had the return of KO, we had the return of uh Randy Orton, and uh who would have ever thought that it would have been Roman Reigns that he would have to thank? So if I'm Cody Rhodes, I'm just grateful that Pharaoh had a good trip. I'm grateful that Arn Anderson is back. Um <laughs> I'm grateful for all of these things. Uh, poor said, poor said. Oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, if I'm if I'm Cody, I'm not trying to start any trouble right now. I'm just happy I have my title. I'm happy I have my bus. Um, and and let that be what it is. Uh, co co mayor, if you would ever love to debate when your internet gets right, you let me know. Uh, co mayor, my city now. Yeah. I'm sitting here waiting. That's interesting, Eric. Uh, Cody is undefeated in Bloodline Rules matches. Who would have thought that? Correct. <laughs> and, and, and in fact, at the uh, press conference, he called it his match. Whoa! Yeah. Hey. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. Ooh! Roman's I know. So, I know. I know. I know. So, I know a Bloodline member he didn't beat yet. Mm. And I, I'm, at Mania. I'm sure he won't mind invoking a Bloodline's Rules match. Wow, there's so much happening right now. Oh, yeah. That is you know. too busy raising money. I for love Lola's it. I'm, I'm here for this, though. Money. I'm here for it. <laughs> is, oh. is that where all the money's going? It needs to go into the internet out there because it's not great. <laughs> Shut up and wait. Yo, internet is what they need to work on in Vice City right now. Oh, my goodness. What a show. Wow. What a show. That all leads us, of course, to Monday Night Raw tonight. The Raw following SummerSlam should be an absolutely incredible show. It is the uh, official in-ring debut of the Wyatt Six as they take on uh, Chad Gable. And I don't know if we call them the New Alpha Academy or not. The Creed Brothers, I don't know what their collective name is going to be. So that ought to be an entire situation uh, on top of all of the fallout, I'm sure we'll hear from uh, what's left of Judgment Day. Is there even a Judgment Day? What will Mommy say? What will Liv and Dom say? There's an awful lot going on on Man. Monday Night Raw, which kicks off at 8 p.m., which, by the way, uh, one of the things we found out at the SummerSlam pre-show is that the newest addition to the Summer Slam, or to the WWE announce team, that is Joe Tessitore, uh, will be joining in September. And he will be joining mm -hmm. Monday Night Raw, contrary to what people initially thought, where they thought he'd be going to SmackDown. Instead, Michael Cole will go over to SmackDown. And I am told that Raw will be Joe Tessitore and Corey Graves. And then SmackDown will be Michael Cole and Wade Barrett. So uh, some more moves happening there on the announce team. If you'll notice, that means, of course, that uh, a certain uh, somebody is missing from Monday Night Raw. And that, of course, is uh, Pat McAfee, who obviously will be heading back to uh, ESPN for college football season and the like. So it's going to make for some fun times, I think, in WWE on their announce team. I love Joe Tessitore, his college football stuff. Holy moly, if you guys aren't watching that, I don't think they're doing any more episodes, but it's like extreme mini golfs. Uh, Steph Curry's the producer of but like Tessitore is hilarious, and he's a lifelong wrestling fan. Yes. So this isn't going to be Adnan Verk. This isn't going to be Jimmy Smith. And I love Jimmy Smith, by the way, from his MMA stuff. But like Tessitore is the man. 
I I didn't know. I thought maybe Corey and uh, I thought Corey would would go back with Cole, but I guess having some experience in there that Graves have with the new guy, I think that makes a lot more sense. So it's exciting. I'm glad. I'm glad that story's coming. Yeah, and then with that pairing with um, Corey Graves, I think that's gonna I think that's gonna do well too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well then, um, I think this is a good time to uh, uh, to wrap call it, it up. Call it, <laughs> call it a day. Um, we'll we'll start with you, uh, Jacob, because we don't know when we're gonna see you again. So where can everybody find you? <laughs> wow. I've been to work more than you have, and I still get the jokes about showing up. Wow, that's rich. Anyway, you can follow me on Twitter at underscore J Dell. Make sure you follow my tag team partner, my co-mayor of Vice City, Mr. Cedric Welton at C E W D underscore S A Y S. That is said underscore says over on Twitter slash X. You can follow me on Instagram at said is the answer. And uh yeah, I will be back around. It's the slow period for me now. So I'll pop in and out. I was just trying to cook my dinner. Watch the show today and just enjoy a good show. And then we just had to bring my name into this too many times. So I had to show up real quick. Like, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for showing up. We look forward to seeing you again. Um, yeah. <laughs> Councilman, mm. uh, where's the band of he rode in town on? <laughs> uh, you, you can find me at what is a co mayor on Twitter. Um, <laughs> you can also join me next Monday. <laughs> You mean uh, what is a fraudulent champ? You can also find me at Were They Ever a Champ on Facebook. <laughs> we will be discussing that as well. And then uh, make sure you support the GoFundMe to get some internet advice city and to have a real election so you don't have two mayors in your city. It's wow. only supposed to be one. Uh, you can find and support this. Oh my gosh. Um, before uh, we, we close, close. Uh, also, FYI, for you guys who don't know, you guys should know, um, our Women's Wrestling Talk is brought to you by ACW, so you should definitely check that out. Have you heard the news? It's pretty big. I heard from my friend who heard from her friend all the way from the Caribbean. Well, when I heard from my friend, I became super excited. And I think you guys will like it too. WWT now has an official partner and it's All Caribbean Wrestling, the premier promotion across the Caribbean. Go to allcaribbeanwrestling.com to check out all the latest pay-per-views or go on the YouTube page as All Caribbean Wrestling. Also, go and check out their socials on Instagram at All Caribbean Wrestling and on X at All Caribbean WR1. Now, you make sure you go and check them out and tell them WWT sent you. You hear me? Woo. All right, um, Professor. Oh, also, too, if you guys are in Jamaica, you definitely want to check out uh, ACW has their next show in Jamaica, uh, August 31st. So you definitely mm -hmm. want to check, check that out. Professor and I will be on the commentary team. So if you are in Jamaica, you definitely want to check that out. So all Caribbean. Nice. Team. Professor, where can everybody find you? Uh, you can find me probably in a very safe space, safe from all of the damage happening in these towns around here. Uh, you can find me at Bonnerfied across all of the social spaces. Uh, you can check out my commentary work with Southern Honor Wrestling. We've got a big show coming up this Friday. Really excited about that. Uh, also on IWE. And they're bo those both are on IWTV. There are some shows or some matches from IWE now on their YouTube channel where you can check out my commentary there. And that is at IWE Pro. Speaking of YouTube, you can check me out there to uh, find out what's going on with the Nightmare Factory and Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling. Of course, all Caribbean wrestling. All sorts of great things are happening there. And there are matches there with my work on their YouTube page as well. And, of course, Ashe Wrestling at AsheWrestling.com. It always feels like I'm forgetting something, um, but don't worry. Just you'll find me around here. Yeah, um, in safe spaces, of course. In safe spaces, honey. Where can everybody find you? Well, you can always find me in the house of the true tribal chiefs bloodline but tonight i'm going to be on neutral grounds and it's probably one of the safest spaces of all you can visit me at wyatt six city find me on all my socials wrestling with honey on tiktok wrestling with honey instagram wrestling w honey on facebook and follow that youtube wrestling with honey podcast cooking some good stuff up 
And uh, speaking of GoFundMe's, you can also fund us by buying some merch. Hey, yo, you. Yeah, you that's watching this. You sitting on the couch staring at the screen not knowing what you want to do. Like, this is an online college. Are you tired of wearing shirts that make you look like an extra stuck in catering? Do you want to step your wrestling swag game up to the next level? Then Women's Wrestling Talk has got you covered. Like, literally. Are you for life in pink or black and white? Or maybe you're the EST and people need to respect you accordingly. Want to put some pride in your stride and show off the muscle in your hustle? Then make sure you check out the WWT store. Not now, but right now. All right? What you waiting for? Head to www.talkpodstore.com and don't make me fight you. Shit. What is happening in the chat? Um, Jason, where can everybody find you? At that Jason Gray on X, IG, and YouTube. My uh, podcast, that wrestling podcast, every Friday on YouTube and where you get your audio at that wrestle pod on socials. We are three episodes away from episode 200. And uh, coming out here in the next couple days, our SummerSlam vlog uh, where karaoke was involved at the coolest spot in Cleveland that no one knows about uh, Tina's Nightclub. It's in a neighborhood. It looks like a, just a cement building outside. You walk in, cement building inside, and it's just the coolest dive bar on the planet. I had so much fun, uh, regardless of me being me and my friends being like the oldest people there. But we had an absolute blast. Some karaoke was involved. Uh, that vlog will be coming out on our YouTube channel at that wrestling podcast, uh, hopefully by Thursday this week. So it was good times. Oh my gosh, I apologize. My dog is playing with her toy. Anywho, uh, you can follow me everywhere at TK Trinidad. Uh, I thank you all, uh, the WWT <laughs> uh, folks, for, for holding it down and I, I guess not killing each other while I was gone. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> everybody else, you can check out Women's Wrestling Talk on all social media platforms at www.talkpod.com. A new website uh, on deck coming soon, so definitely on the check out for that. With that being said, thank you so much for watching Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Ciao, y'all. Thanks for joining WWT. Don't forget to like us on all social media platforms at WWTalkPod. Like and subscribe on all video and audio platforms like yesterday, my G. And check out our website at www.talkpod.com. Thanks for watching Women's Wrestling Talk.